What's good YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to share some of my sales from Poshmark with you guys from over the past couple of weeks. I just want to make sure I include some of the stuff that I've been sharing with you guys from some of my trips to Ross and trip to Burlington because some of those items have already sold. So if you guys are interested in these kind of videos, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first item we have here is a pair of specialized mountain biking shoes and I picked these up maybe two weeks ago, maybe a little less. I believe this one was when I went to San Diego and I found these out there. I think I pay, I think I spent about four bucks for these and these sold for thirty five here on Poshmark. Um, anytime I come I come across cycling shoes, I usually always pick them up. Um, Specialized usually does well. Um, I found some that sold for a ton of profit, but they usually have carbon fiber on the bottom. But some of the more simple, more basic ones, these still sell for like anywhere between 30 and 50 bucks. So if you guys find them, always pick them up. Just make sure that the bottoms are in decent condition. And if you have the, uh, the actual cleats on the bottom that's supposed to attach to uh, the bike, you'll be in better shape. You could even make some more profit as well. Next up was a pair of New Balance 990s and I used to sell these all the time because I would find these all the time when I was living in California and I used to price them super cheap. I used to price these for like 40 bucks and they would sell within the same day. This time around I realized that I was always playing myself and 990s sell for way more profit. These weren't in the best condition but they were still pretty clean so I decided to list these for uh, I believe these listed for $79. I got a best offer of 70 and I went ahead and accepted that. So this is definitely a really good deal. So if you guys come across 990s, definitely pick them up because they sell for a ton of profit as long as they're pretty clean. Next up, we got a pair of Adidas Marathons and I actually sourced these straight from eBay. I think I spent maybe $24 or $26, something like that. Very cheap on eBay. And I flipped a couple of these on eBay and I sold some on Poshmark as well. I think I bought 15 pairs in total. So I usually source anywhere I can find stuff nowadays, especially since the thrift stores in my area are so expensive. That's why I start, started to do a lot more trips to Ross and Burlington and Marshalls because now I'm doing online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, anywhere where I can find a good deal. So if you guys can source on, on certain platforms, go ahead and do that too. Next up was this pair of Cork Ease uh, sandals. No, Cork Ease wedges, I should say. I had these in the inventory for a very long time. Um, I knew they would sit because I picked them up in the wintertime and they finally sold for 28 bucks. Honestly, I was just tired of seeing these. I was tired of sharing them in my closet. Um, if you come across Corky's, price them, price them on the higher end. If this was summertime, I probably could have got maybe 40 or 50 bucks for these. I just sold them cheaper now because I had them for a while, but it's one of those things. Corky's is a, is a pretty good brand, and these were in really good condition. So if I wanted to wait a little longer, I probably could have made some more money, but like I said, I had these for way too long. And size 10 for women isn't the most popular size, so once I got a good offer, I just went ahead and accepted it. Next up, we got a pair of Carhartt uh, kind of work pants. They had like a flannel lining on the inside of these. So those were really good for the people that do construction and work outside. Or even if you're just in a cold area, these are really clutch. And I had these listed for, I think, 29. They sold for 22. Went ahead and accepted that. And I think I had these for maybe two weeks and I picked these up for four bucks. Next up, we got a pair of Danner boots. And I believe I got these in uh, Salvation Army. And I'm not sure how much I spent. Maybe seven or eight dollars on these. Not, not that, nothing crazy. These were pretty beat up. But like I told you guys before um danner boots or any type of mountain boot it usually does still sell for some decent profit even if they do look to be a little beat up uh, most of the time whoever's buying it they're going to just do the same thing so in terms of the condition don't be afraid to pick up some dirty hiking boots especially this mountaineering style but these sold for 50 like i said seven or eight bucks and it sold within about two weeks Next up, we got this pair of Timberland Chucker boots, and I grabbed these up from Ross. These were on sale for like 22 bucks. I think I had three pairs on, on here, and I sold some on eBay, and I sold some on Poshmark as well. I'm all out of these boots now, but like I said, I picked them up for like $22, and it sold for $70, and I believe I sold the other ones on eBay for $79. I have some other styles on here that I'll share with you guys later as well. Next up is this Affliction t-shirt, and I don't even do Affliction anymore. I'm, I'm starting to fade away from clothing and in the past I would pick up t-shirts for maybe two bucks, sell it for 20. Um, that method is really, really good. It got me to where I am today, but I'm kind of just 
kind of moving away from that so slowly slow transition so i'm glad this one sold for 16 bucks i made some decent profit i think i made 10 bucks on this shirt and this one sat for a very long time usually affliction t-shirts sold a lot faster for me maybe the, the brand is dying out or maybe i priced it too high who knows but I'm, I'm not i'm not gonna be picking up any affliction t-shirts and stuff like that anymore only t-shirts i'll be picking up is if it's something vintage and it has some more value next up we got a pair of air force ones in the jester uh these are called the jester lows in a gun smoke colorway these were for women and if you guys follow the channel i picked this up from burlington and i believe these were 25 bucks on the clearance section and they sold for 65 within like two days so that was a really good flip um, not a ton of profit was made but it sold super super quick so if you guys can find these for the low definitely pick them up um if they were brand new in box i probably could have got maybe 80 bucks for these but it is what it is it sold really quickly next up is a pair of miss me denim jeans for women and i was just saying that miss me jeans don't sell for me that well and i was only getting like 20 bucks for them and thankfully this pair sold for 40 bucks so i guess it really just depends it has to have some some embellishments and some bling to it for it to be having some value and i'll probably still pick up miss me jeans as long as they have some real nice embellishments and bling if they're kind of simple and plain i'll probably pass on them next up we got this pair of nike pro hyper strong compression pants and i've had i picked up four pairs from ross last year and these and i, I sold them super super slow the larger size is like a double XL. That one sold within about two or three weeks. And I had some smalls and some larges. And I finally sold out of these. So thankfully, since football season is probably, I believe maybe in high school, it's probably coming back now or something. But they, people are finally starting to pick these up. So I'm glad about that. And I think I spent $10 for each one at Ross. But like I said, I picked these up since last year. Next up, we got this vintage Houston Rockets jersey. This is Hakeem Olajuwon. This one did have some minor stains, but overall, really, really good condition. No cracking on here whatsoever. And this one finally sold for $69. I priced it kind of high because these champion jerseys started to have some weight, some more value to them. Um, before, I remember growing up, champion jerseys were the really cheap jerseys that nobody wanted. But of course, now these are highly sought after. So if you guys come across these champion jerseys, always pick them up. Not every jersey is worth a ton of profit, but of course, Hakeem Olajuwon, he's the truth. Next up is a pair of vintage Nike golf shoes for women. I got these from a Goodwill out here when I first moved, and I was that at that point, I was actually going to Goodwill. I don't go to Goodwills anymore. I hardly ever go to Savers. Maybe I might go on a Monday, but for the most part, I, I don't even go to those places anymore because they're just too expensive, and it just kind of kills my mood. Drop a comment if you guys you know you go to a thrift store the price is too high and it just kills your mood drop a comment if you guys know know what i'm talking about but i don't even want to ruin my energy going to those stores so i pass all the time but i picked these up from that goodwill for like eight bucks had these for maybe two months now and they sold for 50 here on poshmark it was a surprise because i thought it would sell on ebay first but i'm still glad it sold and makes me makes me want to consider going to goodwill because you never know what you'll find but at the end of the day you got to protect your energy next up is another pair of timberland boots but these are actually some six inch boots and these sold for 79 here on poshmark on ebay i was selling these as well i think i had three of these and three of the other ones um these were also on clearance and I think these were like $27. So I made a little more profit on these since they did sell for 79 bucks. And the ones on eBay, I made the pretty much close, almost the same amount of profit considering the cost of shipping on there. So if you guys find some of these Timberland boots for a good deal, definitely pick them up because now people are shopping for boots like crazy. I've been selling out as soon as I, as soon as I picked them up, they basically sold out within that same month. So definitely be on the lookout for these Timberland boots because they're they're selling pretty well and last but not least if you guys follow the channel you guys know one of my biggest videos uh, for the month so far was that Ross video I did when I was finding a ton of cleats and just big basketball shoes for a dollar dollar fifty I picked these up from Ross for I think three dollars and fifty cents and these sold for seventy five dollars they were a size 16 and I was expecting these to sit for a while I even priced them for like a hundred bucks but I, I was happy to take whatever I was going to get with them and a really good offer of $75 came in and I just went ahead and accepted it because like I said I only spent like $3 for these so not every Ross had those crazy sales some did I ended up passing on a bunch of cleats that I did come across because I knew the large cleats they do sit for a while but thankfully these sold really quickly and I was just happy about that so this one was probably my favorite sale uh, so far
you know. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I should've never offered it I'm tight and now I'm off this shit